Hola, hola, hola. Bienvenidos. Welcome to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me here today. Really appreciate it. How is everyone doing? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know what you're up to this week and how you're doing. How's your planner routine going? What planners are you using? What sticker books are you loving? Let me know in the comments. Today I am going to be in my flagship planner. This is my creative journal, the big vertical Tanya Garcia Bright Travels Happy Planner from The Happy Planner. I use this planner as a creative journal, as a scrapbook, as a memory keeper, and um, I love it so much. So we are actually going to be planning a week um, in August because I'm still catching up to August or no. Sorry, um, we'll be planning a, the first week in September because I am still catching up with my spreads in this planner. I am going to do this one today and then I have last week and then or two weeks ago and then last week because it is currently September 25th. So I am slowly catching up um, to where I need to be. And I think by this week I will get these three spreads. Well, this one's going to be done today, and I think I'll get these two spreads done this week, so that way I can be back to where I need to be. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. But like I always say, I'm not super stressed about keeping up with this planner. It's nice when I'm able to, but if I fall back a few weeks, it's not a big deal. I can just always, you know, go back in and set up the spreads. The only thing that is a little bit difficult about it is that it takes me a bit to remember what went on during the week and sometimes I feel like I don't remember everything and some things just kind of slip off into oblivion because of that. And I don't necessarily have to write every single detail, but I do like writing small little details. I like capturing those little like snapshots of life moments and it's harder to do that, you know, a couple weeks in the future. Anyways, um, this was the last spread that I set up in my planner. This was my September monthly. I really, really liked how this one came out. And then before that, I had my Sequoia National Park spread, which I also really enjoyed. And we're going to be setting up the September 4th through the 10th. So I will pull out these pages here and get started. Okay, let's get started. So for this week, we're actually going to be celebrating my pug Daisy's birthday or her got ya day because I got her September the 5th last year. She was, I think, about a year old. It's really hard to tell um, with these Craigslist pugs. The family that I got her from really didn't know a lot about her information, her birthday or anything like that. And so I don't know her birthday, her actual birthday, but because I did get her on the 5th, Fifth, that's going to be her birthday and the family I got her from said that she was 11 months around that time so technically her birthday is probably in October but I don't know when so I, I just go ahead and say that September 5th is her birthday and to celebrate her birthday I'm going to be making the spread about my girl Daisy so I have the recollections pets sticker book here that I just got on clearance at Michael's I have this um, sticker sheet from Hobby Lobby. This is just a sticker sheet of daisies. I'm pretty sure these are daisies, right? <laughs> I could be wrong, but I think these are daisies. And I have some sticker sheets from various sticker books, um, dog sticker books. So I have a few sheets from my colorful dog sticker books. These are the only sheets that I have left in that sticker book. This is one of the sticker books I'm trying to finish this year. And these are the only ones I have left in that sticker book. So I'm slowly trying to get through them. I also have these. I just found these. These were stickers that I got from like an accessory pack, a Cozy Critters accessory pack. So I have these. Oh, and this is just a random ball page that I should put away. So that's what I have here. And I also have three photos of Daisy. This one's Daisy and Bugs when we went camping. Um, this is Daisy. So cute. And then this is Daisy. And I really like this one because I'm reading and my bookmark says, 
home is where your dog is, which is so true. So I have these three photos and I don't really have a set plan, a set goal about what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to have fun with it and decorate and um, have fun celebrating my girl. Okay, where to even begin? I kind of want to line the bottom pages with dog stickers. Um, I'm thinking of using these clear dog stickers and some of the clear dog stickers that I have from Cozy Critters, or I mean um, colorful dogs. Like I could pull for these here. So let's go ahead and do that. I kind of want to have a little dog park situation going on right here. Although it's kind of funny because Daisy actually doesn't really like other dogs. She's very leash reactive. So she barks a lot at other dogs um, when we're out walking. Small dogs, big dogs, she doesn't like them. If they're on leash, she doesn't like them. If they're behind a fence, she doesn't like them. If they're running loose, she doesn't like them. She doesn't like anything um, that moves. But it's interesting because she actually does like pugs. She likes other pugs. I think she recognizes that she's a pug. Um, she loves bugs, which who is my other pug. And um, I kind of want to layer this one. She likes bugs, who is my other pug. Um, and so I think she recognizes pugs. She understands when a dog is a pug. <laughs> So she gets along well with other pugs. Um, that's why I like bringing her to pug meetups, but it takes her a while to play with other pugs. Um, I guess I would say that the one thing about Daisy is that when we're at the dog park, she does end up playing with dogs. Um, maybe just one or two she'll, she'll like and she'll start playing with them. Um, and when she's at the dog park, she isn't very bad. When we first get there, she kind of barks a little bit at the other dogs, but she kind of stays to herself. And then after a while, she'll find the dog that she likes and she'll play with it. But <laughs> she is a bit of a rascal. And of course I have to use this pug sticker. I love that one of the dogs here that they included with the clear stickers is a pug. I think I will have enough stickers to layer both sides of the page. So I'm really happy about that. Perfect. I have just enough stickers to line the entire bottom. I love that so much. So cute. Put down another one of these sausage dogs, maybe here. Very cute. And then this uh, page also has some like paw prints and bones. And I'm thinking of using these at the top as decoration. Okay, I love it so far. And then we have these three photos, which I kind of want to lay down before I get too carried away. Okay, let's see. And then I'll put this one right here. These are big. <clears throat> I wonder if I should use all of them. I'll put Bugs and Daisy over here. I wanted to have a photo with both Bugs and Daisy in it because even though it is Daisy's birthday and her spread, um, it really is a celebration of both of my babies, Bugs and Daisy. Without Bugs, Daisy would not have entered my life because Bugs really showed me the amazingness that Pugs are. I'm going to put this one up here. Pugs are really just such a fantastic breed. They are so friendly and so cute and so loyal and so cuddly and amazing. They're just such good dogs. I've never met a Pug that just didn't steal my heart away the moment I met it. Okay, I did want to use these stickers here. I really want to use this sticker because it is a pug sticker. So I'm going to layer this on the sidebar. Say hello to Happy with the little pug there. I love that. And then this pink full box sticker, I think I will use right here. I'll layer it on the photo there. Um, and then a little notes. I think I'll put this here. I really liked this sticker book, the Cozy Critters one. 
Um, I'll probably try to use it up next year. I'm already thinking about all of the sticker books I want to finish in 2024. Um, that's definitely going to be a video that I upload um, like in December. I'm already thinking about Vlogmas and um, trying to film a video every single day for uh, December. So <laughs> wish me luck, but I tried last year and I got like maybe 10 videos up and then um, that was it. But I think I'm going to go all in this year. I'm very excited about it. Okay, let's go back into the pet sticker book. Let's see. Let's see. This is like um, both cats and dogs. And so I'm going to be pulling for all of the dog stickers. I really like this live, laugh, bark, live, love, bark, and dogs are a girl's best friend. So let's see if I can fit these somewhere. Dogs are a girl's best friend, and then live, love, bark right here. And actually, I think I also have some pug stickers that, um, that Margaret sent me. Thank you so much, Margaret. She sent me these two pug stickers. I'm thinking of using these in this spread here. I think that would be a great way of using these stickers. I could put one here and then one here, or one here and one here. Oh, oh, you know what I should do with these? I should put one like here, and this will be bugs. And I'll put one here, and that will be daisy. And with daisies, I will layer some of these daisies behind the pug so i'll put some like so like so i'll put this right here and then maybe one under here just so that we are just so that we see all the daisies really well. I might layer another one right there. And then one up here. I love it. And then I'll sprinkle some, you know, throughout the spread as well. Okay, and then I kind of want to leave some space for writing, of course. So I'm thinking of just putting some flag stickers right here in these two boxes to kind of act as little markers for writing and then maybe another one up here as well okay and i also wanted to give bugs some like background decoration because daisy has her daisies so for bugs i had to give him little bugs <laughs> so that's going to be his background i'm going to use bugs and even a little bit of flowers uh, maybe just one flower just so that the bugs have something to crawl on and fly around so i'm using the bug stickers from cheerful seasons here and i'll put a little bee there and then a little ladybug maybe over here and one of these buggers over here maybe over here kind of layered on the flower and then a butterfly over here i kind of want to put it right here but then this spot will be taken and i kind of want to use this for writing oh well i will put the butterfly here and i will pick up this little flag and move it maybe down here okay that wasn't that bad i'm gonna put another ladybug over here and then maybe Ooh, a little moth. I could put this over here. Just so we have a little diversity of bugs. So that's bugs and daisy. I love it. And of course, I want to pull for some of my own pug stickers. I walk the pug sticker. So cute. Um, I want to put this maybe like over here. There we go. I love that. And then I'll use this important sticker up here. I can use this spot for journaling and I'll put a box here and maybe one more box somewhere else. Okay, I changed my mind about this flag here. I'm going to peel it up, put this note 
um, box right here. This little flag I will put down here. I do want to add some more daisies um, around the page, so I might put one over here and another one over here. And I might layer a quote on top of that daisy. So we have some nice quotes in this sticker book. Uh, we could do, we could use Dog Mama. So maybe Dog Mama right here. I love it. Dog Mama. Is that crooked? It might be, but at this point, who cares? We can use some cute little gold foil dogs at the top. Maybe another daisy here in the corner. Another daisy right here. I like how they're clear so you can still see some of the stickers behind them. A little daisy right there. And I think I'm going to go with another daisy right here because I'm seeing like a movement across the page like this that I really like. Okay, I kind of want to put this wolf wolf sticker right here. Okay, there we go. Love it. Okay, I think um, I'm happy with the spread. I really like how it turned out. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward, but I just wanted it to be a spread celebrating my two pugs, Daisy and Bugs. So I'm gonna go ahead and journal and I'll probably do a voiceover about what it is I am journaling about. So let's go ahead and journal. So I started off with Monday, September the 4th. It was actually Labor Day and so I took the day off and this is coming from Sequoia National Park and so I was really tired. I spent the day unpacking and just settling back into home and then at this point I got the idea of using my alphabet sticker letters to write out Daisy and Bugs next to those two pug stickers that are representing my two babies. I thought it turned out really cute and I love how that came out. I then just grabbed a birthday sticker and put it next to Daisy and then I journaled a little bit about it being a Daisy's anniversary of her gotcha day. Um, I can't believe it's been an entire year since Daisy has joined our little family. She's been such a joy to be around. She's so cute and I love her so much. She's such a treasure to be around and she's such a cutie pie. I love her. And then um, I just journaled a little bit about um, on Wednesday how we had to go back to the veterinary hospital to check out Bugs's um, infection in his eye. Thankfully it had all cleared up and so that was great news. And then at this point, I felt the need to draw out some journaling lines for writing. I really like writing in straight lines, and so um, I try to use these um, journaling lines when I can. And so I went ahead and used my solar system ruler to map out those lines, and then I journaled a little bit about events that had happened on the week. I didn't remember really what happened on Tuesday, but I did remember that on Wednesday, I had to go down to UC San Diego my old campus which is about a 35 minute drive from where I currently live to pick up some research supplies I had left at the field station um, my uh, supervisor, my old supervisor, um, had wanted to clean up the lab and found a box of my stuff and so he asked me to come pick it up or tell him whether I could, he could throw it away and I didn't remember what had happened or what I had left in that box and so I just drove down and picked it up. And then on Thursday um, and Friday, it was pretty quiet. Not too much happened. I honestly don't remember what happened um, Thursday and Friday. They must have just been quiet days. But the weekend was really, really fun. I had a lot of stuff going on. I hung out with planner babe Rachel. I drove up to Hawthorne to hang out and have a planner session. We went to Michael's and then just hung out at a Starbucks doing planner stuff. And then right after, I went off to go thrifting with my good friend Jess in Santa Ana and then Sunday actually we drove up to 
to Scotty's Valley, or Scott's Valley is the name of the town.、Um, we are actually driving up there, which was about an eight, nine hour drive from where we were.、Um, we were driving up there because Steven's friend from college was getting married on Monday, and so we were going to go to his wedding. And so it was a long drive up, but that's what we did on Sunday. Okay, this is the finished spread. Very cute. Love how it looks all filled in as usual. So, the only thing left to do now is to put the pages back on the discs. This is the first spread I've done in a long time that doesn't require me to punch out the holes because I did not cover up any of the holes with the spread. A very simple spread, but I love it. I'm happy to have a spread that celebrates my babies, Daisy and Bugs. Not a lot of writing this time around, but that's fine. I tend to write a lot, so I don't mind having not a lot of writing on the pages once in a while. So now we're only two weeks behind、um, where I need to be, and that is amazing because I feel like I am finally. Going to be able to catch up to where I am and then be able to fill in more detailed notes about each day. And I can't believe this week is finally the first week of October and we get to work in a new month. And it feels like I just did the September monthly. <laughs> ah, and now we're going to be doing the October monthly as well. So, what a fun spread! I love it so much. Anyways, thank you so much for checking out the spread. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you have dogs or pets in the comments down below and what kind of breed you have. I would love to know. And with that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe. God bless you and your family. And I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, happy planning and don't forget to hit the trails. Adios.